Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to this unboxing slash review video for terrain that I recently got from a company called Red Dragon. Uh, this is a Red Dragon, Red Dragon dot, Red Dragon Gaming dot co dot UK. It popped up on one of those uh, YouTube suggested thingy bobs while I was looking at something. So I clicked on it and saw all of this stuff and thought, ooh, that's very nice. Pre-painted resin terrain for not a lot of money and I thought I've got to get me some of that and a very specific idea in mind originally I was looking at the trench works because uh, on this trench where's the trench thingy bob red dragon there's a, like a full set you can get look look at this stuff complete battle line painted everything 100 bucks it's massive so I was looking at that originally and then I remembered that I've already got a metric ton of uh, battle lines and trench works and, and things like that. And then I found something else entirely. So let's dive in. Some two boxes, nice and neat, neatly packed unboxing videos. Never done one of these before. Let's, let's unbox. Right, first box is unboxed. Is any of it damaged? And it looks nice. We'll, we'll get this out in a second. Second box, rocks, really big rock. More stuff. Second box, unboxed. Uh, it's all good. First box. There we go. Unboxing video complete. Can we get onto the look? They sent me a nice letter as well. I'll read through that in a second. That's their card. Let's see what we've got here. So this is what we have here. I bought four packs of pre-painted, pre-flocked resin terrain of swamps. This is what it looks like underneath. Very tough. I have a very specific idea in mind for what kind of battle grill I want to set up using this terrain. And by the end of the video, I'll get it all out on the table and show you what I'm thinking of. So this is tough. Hardware and stuff pre-painted, but you don't have to do anything. Just get it out of the box, chuck it on the table, and a crap ton of rocks. This is like uh, three packs of their mixed rock set. It comes with a large one, two medium ones, four baby ones, four minions, and again pre-painted, uh, flocked resin terrain. It's just easy, quick, done. How big is this stuff? This is how big it is next to a Nemesis Dread Knight. This is how big it is next to a Crash Test Marine. This is how big the rocks are next to a Rhino or a jar of Marmite. A big purple aerobics exercise ball thing your wife uses. The War Master himself, Horus Lupercal. A humble assault marine. Or some bog roll. There you go, lots of different things so you get some idea of the scale because when I was looking at the Rocky Outcrop Deluxe set on the internet I didn't have a, a notion of how big this stuff was. Um, so there's some feedback from for you boys at Red Dragon Gaming. Put a little marine or something in that picture there so, some, so we have an idea of how big this chisel is. But uh, it's big enough. These bits are about the size of a rhino. Okay Winters, why did you get a bunch of this terrain? Well it was uh, very affordable and very quick. I'm lo always looking for ways to get some time back because as you guys know, the, the biggest sacrifice that we make in this hobby is time. The amount of time it takes to assemble, to make, to paint um, uh, new uh, armies. And in my case, I've got to film and edit and upload and pay homage to the wife every now and then as well. Uh, I only have a certain amount of time free. So when I see deals like this, where you can get this delivered to your door, already done, and it is good, it is mint stuff, um, I, I just jumped all over this. So there'll be viewers out there that know that I've done some rocks myself. I've even done a tutorial on how to make these rocks and uh, how lazy am I that I can't be bothered to make any more and instead buy and pay for some. Uh, it's not lazy, it's time. I've wanted some more rocks for a long, long period of time. So now I've got my rocks. I didn't have enough time to go out and uh, spend a good couple of hours doing this. Time is precious, Tommy. Particularly when you're building, painting and assembling 30k Admech, 40k Admech, the 13th, and I'm dabbling, dipping into 
uh, 30k legion territory as well. Seriously guys, 30k legion stuff, leviathan dreadnought, space marines, more stuff, that's uh, 300 plus quids worth of forge world shizzle which will be coming to the channel sometime next year 2017. Why so long winters? Because I've got to build it and paint it and assemble it and blah blah blah. Instead, get your stuff pre-done from Red Dragon Terrain. So thanks boys. They sent me this letter as well. Set up a discount code on our website to give your viewers 10% off our products. The code is WINTERS. I should flash something along the bottom of the screen while this is going. Hopefully it will give your viewers a little something extra and it helps us track where the customers are coming from. So there you've had it guys. If you want to go to Red Dragon Terrain and check out some of their entrenchments, check out some of their terrain pieces, uh, enter the code WINTERS in there and you'll get 10% off. So what does it say on this letter here? Red Dragon Gaming is a pair of gamers based in Somerset, UK. have been making terrain for years and started producing terrain for sale in 2014. Our terrain is resin cast, it's durable stuff, and it's available either unpainted or painted and flocked. As gamers ourselves, we only want to produce things that we'll be happy using on our own gaming table, so we aim for our terrain to be as good as it can be. As gamers, we just don't want the pieces to look great. We also think about how they work tactically on the battlefield. So these boys play 40k themselves. I know one of them definitely plays Tau because he mentioned it to me. And look, you've got a rock field um, for jumping up and over. You've got a marsh field here. So here's a quick idea of what I was thinking of. It's swampy land in and amongst the ruins, in and amongst the crags. We can imagine a wet and marshy battlefield where line of sight is blocked by these great stone columns here or there um, but not blocked along certain firing avenues down to the Spartan down there or the Twix packets on the shelf um, and not blocked in other places and difficult terrain which may slow down tanks and may slow down infantry which isn't just craters for a change or barrels or other things. I was also thinking I could get all of the marshy pieces, put all of them up at one end of the table to make one great big marshy rock field, and then the train get oh sorry, and then the train get higher and higher and higher up. So you've got crags at one end spilling down onto this marshy plateau. I could forge a narrative out of that. Obviously, if we do hammer and anvil deployment on that battle report, someone will be screwed. So we'd have to. Um, say that we would be doing Dawn of War, but that would look cool. Or I invite you to imagine a Fortress of Redemption in the middle of the table, surrounded by marsh, surrounded by rocks. Imagine a fortress on its own with a large, blasted, desolate wasteland either side of it, and um, chaos pouring in, trying to uh, take out the survivors in one heroic last stand. You see, you get some scenery like this, you get some good scenery, and the stories start writing themselves. Okay, let's start to wrap this up. So if you're interested in boards or entrenchments or obstacles, check out uh, reddragongaming.co.uk. You can get stuff like this and like this, pre-painted, pre-assembled. Just take it out of the box, chuck it on your battlefield. Jobs are good and off you go. I like this stuff. I am pleased. Uh, YouTube showed me their website. Sometimes when those YouTube things chuck up, uh, come up on your screen and say, hey, check this out, you're like, oh, go away. But on this instance, I uh, thank YouTube and thank Red Dragon Gaming for sending this stuff through. Oh, don't forget your winter's code if you want 10% off the stuff they've got. So we'll look forward to seeing this stuff in future battle reports coming very, very soon. I should mention the mat is from Urban Mats. That's mats with a Z. Um, so if you're interested in this map, go check that out. But yeah, in about a month or two's time, you should start seeing uh, me using some of this terrain. And it's going to be that long because I've already got a few things um, lined up, ready to press publish on. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching and happy wargaming.